A former Hong Kong pro-independence group leader has fled to Britain, where he's formally sought political asylum. Tony Chung was a leader of the Student Socialism Group and that was dissolved in 2020 before China's national security law came into place. 20-year-old Chung was sentenced to prison under the law in 2021. Chung said he now plans to continue his studies and contribute as a Hong Kong exile. He wrote on his social media platform, and I quote, I feared stepping out of my home, feared using the phone in public and worried about the possibility of being detained again by national security police officers on the streets. In 2021, Chung became the youngest person to be imprisoned under Hong Kong's sweeping national security law. The law was imposed after massive and at times violent pro-democracy protests in 2019 in the former British colony. Prosecutors said Chung had acted as an administrator for the Facebook pages of the US branch of student localism and an organisation called the Initiative Independence Party. They also said that pro-independence t-shirts, flags and books were seized from his home. Chung is the latest Hong Kong political figure to flee the city, following an announcement by activist Agnes Chow, who had moved to Canada. This year, Chinese authorities also issued bounties for 13 pro-democracy activists abroad, promising $128,000 for information leading to their capture. Five of them, namely Simon Chung, Francis Hui, Johnny Xu, Johnny Fock and Tony Choi, are now based in various countries, including the US and Britain. Well, Beijing imposed the national security law on the Asian financial hub in 2020 after months of anti-government protests. The law punishes acts including subversion, secession, collusion with foreign forces and terrorism with up to life in prison.